Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd pop in here and do a little quick eyebrow tutorial with you. Um, a little eyebrow hack that I learned a few years ago and it's been a lifesaver. If you're anything like me, um, having your brows on fleek on point is really, really important and drawing them in every morning is a pain in the fucking ass. So I found this hack few years ago and I've just been in love with it ever since. I kind of haven't even filled in my eyebrows since, but I do this hack maybe every twice a month, basically. Really simple, really easy product that I use. Um, found it at Walmart. You can get it at any drugstore, store, online, whatever it is. Just for men, brow dye. Now I've tried hair dyes. Um, I've tried, I've tried hair dyes, I've tried henna. The hair dyes would always like bleed into my eyebrows. Um, the henna, I, I just wasn't my thing. But I found this and it's been amazing. I think it's around like $5 a box. You can find a coupon. And this lasts a good, I don't know, three, four or six months, depending how often you do it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do my own eyebrows um, to kind of give you some pointers. Um, what I would say to do before you even to jump into this, if you're thinking about trying this out, um, find an eyebrow shape that you like that will go with your with your current brows. Like um, my brows at the end are kind of thinner, right? Because I went through the whole like plucking them all out and went through that like pencil stage in the 90s and thought it was really cute when it really wasn't. And I was very, very lucky that they grew back in for the most part. Now my tail ends are still a little thin, need a little bit of work and help. So I try to put my eyelash serum, growth serum on those to kind of help them come back to life. Um, so we'll see if that works because I have a new one that I'm working with. Um, so the dye, dyes your eyebrows of course but it also dyes a little bit of the skin underneath so you have any patchy parts that you have like there's a patchy part there i don't know if you can see it there's a kind of patchy part over here those get filled in or if you have blonde hair those get all filled in so i i just it just makes me feel so much more put together um doing this i'm a mom of Three, I don't really have time to put myself together in the morning, to be very honest with you. I'm normally looking like this, but um, if my eyebrows are on fleek and they're right, then I feel a little bit better when I pass the mirror. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do a little tutorial for you and show you what I do for myself and hope that helps you as well. So, open up the box. Open up the box. And you get, um, you get this little tray, little hand gloves. I don't use those. I've used this before, so it kind of looks a little dingy, but you have your, your color base, color base, and you've got your color developer. And then it comes with this little guy that if you're a man, you do up your beard, but I ain't man. I'm a woman. So I use for my brows, I use this little pen or this little brush. I used to have um, one of those eyebrow brushes, which they really work as well. And how I do it, I'm going to show you the whole thing, but I'm just going to run through it, is I start with the end of my brow first. I just go up and then I go down and then I fill that all in really, really gently. And I do here and do the bottom and then I fill in the middle and then I slowly work my way this way. Sometimes, I think I'm going to do it this way, this time as I do this part of my brow, this part of my brow, and then I come back and do this this part after, just to kind of have that little more, more faded ombre look, trying to pull it off hard. Um, sometimes it works, it doesn't. We shall see what works today. So what I do. You can use a pea size if you have smaller eyebrows. I'm going to use around like between a pea and a dime size. Um, so pea and the dime, what I'm talking about is a pea size of this and a pea size of this or a dime size, whatever you're going to use. 
You can always start off with a little bit more if you're just starting off and then um, see how you like it. Okay, so color, put that blob in there. See that? Okay. Then I get the developer and I put a blob in there as well. Make it the same amount for both of those. Same amount, basically. And then I'm just gonna use a Q-tip. Oh yeah, have Q-tips on hand because if it gets a little messy, you just wanna like line it back up. So you just mix it around till it's all mixed up. You see that? Where's the camera? There's the camera. Mix it all up. I think that will be enough. We will make it work. See that? Okay, good to go. Now I have a mirror down here, but I'm gonna try to use the camera for my mirror so you guys can see what I'm doing. So remember, have your shape in mind that kind of match your brows and that you want. Let's see if I can do it without my glasses. Oh, it's a little bit more trickier. Okay, maybe I need my glasses. Let's see that, I haven't done it on camera before. We'll see what works. Uh, okay, that's good. So again, I start, this is what I do. I start at this side and I just go up. And of course, when you're doing this, just remember you can always go and tweak it with a Q-tip. If you make a little um, mistake. Okay, let's see in my mirror. I gotta add more product. Now again, I've been doing this for three-ish years now. So the shape that I like is suited for my brows. Oh, I have a mini mirror here too. Let me see this. Just so I can still show you guys. I might have to mix up some more product. So I did, I did the top line down. Yeah, I kind of messed up there. I'm gonna tweak it up, no worries. Um, and now I'm going to go on the bottom. And the, the, the good thing about this is say you don't use enough product. Like say there's a spot when you rinse it off and, you know, you're like, ah, look, you can go and mix up another batch and go tweak it up and do it again. Like it's no biggie. No biggie. You're at home doing it yourself. If you have an appointment or an event that you want to go tweak it and make it more like on point or crisp, go ahead and go do it. You don't got to wait the whole 7 to 14 days. Now, for me, it lasts 7 to 14 days depending on what skin treatments I'm doing. Um, or if I'm using lots of oils, if I'm using lots of oils, if I'm um, micro, what is it? Micro needling, totally brain fart right there. Um, if I'm micro needling, whatever I'm doing, if I'm more aggressive or doing a more aggressive treatment on my skin, of course, it's going to wear off faster. Like that's just common sense, right? So I'm going to make sure that I make that crisp so I don't have dye um, 
all over the place when I am done dyeing my eyebrows. So it looks okay. See? So for me, it looks like there's a little bit of a kind of patch right there. I should have made more stuff. And I kind of want this, this arch to be more pointy. So let me just kind of try to make that happen right here. I'm trying to look at myself in the camera and it really isn't the best here. Yes, I like my Q-tips. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. It's just don't worry about it. For me, I like my lines on my brows like really psh, psh. Does that look okay? I think that looks okay. Okay. That side's done. So now I'm going to go into this side. This side I have less eyebrows up on this point, which really, um, it bothers me. That's why I'm putting my growth serum in because I want this, I want this point here, like, I want that point over here. I don't I don't want it rounded. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see this. And kind of just draw it on like you're drawing your eyebrows or your blending or coloring or whatever you want to call it. Now you want to make sure they're the same, right? I know some people are like, eyebrows are sisters, not twins, but I like my eyebrows to be twins. I, I My OCD-ness is just if something's not the same, my OCD is screaming at me like, ah, no, 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 no. Fix that. That's not, that's not what we like. Now I got this one almost done. Just gonna clean up the top. Does that look good? Does that look equal? Trying to? Okay. Okay, so that's the best I'm gonna do right now. They look pretty equal to me at this point. Maybe this tail's a little bit longer than this guy. Um See if I have a little bit more dye left. Just kind of make this tail a little bit longer. But what I'm gonna do, it says leave it on for five minutes on the box. Um, I'm, I always leave it on longer. I know it's already been longer than five minutes. This tail still looks longer, whatever. Um, so on the box, it says leave it on for five minutes. 
I normally leave it on for 10 to 15, depending, depending on what, what I'm doing, depending if I get distracted, and how I wash it off. So first of all, I don't go and wash it all off and, and get the dye all over my face. Some, some people might. Pref um, my preference is I take a face cloth, I put um, Dove Baby Soap, because that's normally what I do to wash this off. Dove Baby Sensitive Soap. I put it on a little bit of the cloth, wet cloth, water, and then I specifically wipe there. Then I get a new side of the cloth with soap and wipe it off. And just kind of repeat that motion till all the dye is off and do it to the same side, uh, opposite side, right? New cloth or a new side, make sure it's clean so you're not rubbing the dye into your pores, into your skin, and just get that dye off. Once the dye is completely off, then do I do a gentle, just kind of clean rinse on my face. The reason why I don't wash all my face while I have the dye on my face or while I'm trying to take it off is I really don't want the dye going into my pores. Um, I don't think it's a big deal because when you're or when you're dyeing your hair and you rinse your hair, dye gets into your face sometimes too when you're doing a box dye. Um, but my preference is get the dye off first, you know, in that area, get it off, then do your full face rinse um, just so you're not getting that extra chemicals and dye into your pores. So I'm gonna let this develop, almost done, then I'm gonna rinse it off and come back and show you guys the final result, okay? Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've washed off all the dye. It's all off my eyebrows. So you guys can see that now my brows are, are dyed, right? There's dyed, there's stain. Even underneath there's a little bit, you see that stain? See on this side. I'm going to add in a before and after during this video to kind of show me probably at the end to show the before and afters and um, so you can see the results side by side, which are always great, right? So this is gonna last for me, again, like I said previous in the, previously in the video, um, between seven to 14 days, but it also depends on what I do to my skin, what treatment I'm gonna be doing, what products I'm gonna be using, if I'm gonna be using oils. Um, now people's skin, everyone's skin's different, right? So it could last for you five days, it could last 10, it could last seven. Again, it depends on what you do with your skin during that time. But this saves me so much time, it, makes me feel honestly um, better about myself when I cross the mirror and I see that my brows are on fleek, right? Maybe I might not have makeup on, maybe I might be exhausted and tired, but hey, psh, psh, out, eyebrows are good. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, what I've been doing for around three years now. Really simple, really easy, really freaking cheap, like five bucks. And you can get coupons with this thing. And this lasts you, these tubes are big, right? I'd say it lasts me around six months. So depends on how often you want to do it. You want to do it more, you want to do it less. It's, it's great. It's awesome. I love, love, love it. Hope you enjoyed this video and this hack. Um, comment below to let me know how you enjoyed it. If you want to see different kind of videos, let me know. I'll try to get those done for you. Um, and also, since I'm new here and you're new here joining me, please subscribe to the channel because I'd love to see you around here through the videos. And of course, it allows you to get updates when I upload videos um, so you can see what I'm doing and sharing with you guys, okay? Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, wherever you are in the world, and I wish you guys all the best, okay? Thank you. Bye.